Joining me today, I have Jennifer Kloss. She is the manager of spiritual health and therapeutic services at the Misericordia Health Center. Thanks for joining me today, Jennifer. Thanks, Sylvia. I'm very happy to be here. So you have had something really fun and interesting going on as we head into Valentine's Day. Tell us more about this. Yeah. So one of my staff approached me last week um, and she had this fabulous idea. So Erin suggested that we circulate some of the dating advice that our residents have. So the cool thing about working with older adults is that they have such um, a large amount of experience in history and they love to share it in the form of stories. So as Erin was gathering this information, she thought, what a cool way to share with Winnipeg um, some of the experience and some of the knowledge that our residents have. That's fantastic. So how was this um, brought across? Was there some sort of sign made that they could do? So it, it's, um, it happens really informally. Uh, the uh, the residents that we have just like to share about their life history. So as this kind of was organically happening, Erin thought, what a cool way uh, to catch this and put it on a whiteboard. So she started with a few residents and then we had a collection of about 10 um, that you guys can see on our social media site. Incredible. So I'd love to hear maybe about one or two of these stories, if you don't mind. Yes. Um, so I can share with you, we have um, a couple in our care, uh, Epin and Mary Cootie, and they've been married together for 55 years. Yeah. Wow. Um, and his advice is to treat your girl like royalty like a princess. <laughs> I love that. So sweet. Oh my goodness. Yeah. 55 years. That is, that's a good amount of time right there for sure. Um, really did, you have, <laughs> did, you, did you have another story from, from this experience? Yeah. Um, Evelyn shared with us to find the right fellow and that she had found uh, the right fellow that she spent her life, which, which I thought was very beautiful. Absolutely. And I love the wording too. That's so great. Um, <laughs> one thing I'd love to hear, because I think I already know the answer to this. Do you have a resident there that is over a hundred years old? Yes, we do. Um, so Angelina also shared her advice. Angelina's 108. Wow. 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 She has to be one of the oldest people in Winnipeg, I would assume. 108. I mean, I don't think many. Yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> um, what was her advice? Her advice is to make sure that he had a loaded wallet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, that is a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, it it involves people, gets them excited, right? Yeah. Alongside. That's fantastic. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to share today, Jennifer? I did. Um, so I just wanted to showcase the fact that it is Therapeutic Recreation Month. So the, the staff that created this idea, my department is uh, Therapeutic Recreation Professionals, and they work really hard every day to make sure that our residents have the most exciting, uh, meaningful and purposeful days. So I just wanted to let you know that that came from that. Um, also, we Misericordia uh, Place is doing an around the world campaign that um, combines with Therapeutic Recreation Month. So we are uh, doing a fundraiser to raise money to refresh the place that our residents live. Nice. OK. And if anyone wants to get involved in that, how do they do that? Yes, they can go to our uh, website, our foundation's website, which is misericordiafoundation.ca. Fantastic. We'll let people know. And thank you so much, Jennifer, to, for taking the time and letting us know about this Valentine's Day advice. I love it. Excellent. Thanks so much for having me, Sylvia. Take care.